All right, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to use the fill in the drop um, or uh, the drop down fill in the blank uh, question type on the assessments. So I'm inside my Schoology course. I'm just going to go over here and click Add Assessment. Um, since this is just a demo to show you how to do this, I'm just going to run through this and put in blank information. Normally, you would fill this out properly, um, but for today, I'm just going to put in a bunch of gibberish. Okay, I'm going again. I'm just answering your specific questions here, so I'm not going to um, not going to cover all this stuff. We're just going to go straight to question and write to fill in the blank drop down. Once the question opens, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to take a second here and show you how all of this works for the setup. The big thing that people forget is this sentence right up top. Okay, You have to use an underscore to indicate that that's where your fill in the blank is going to go. Okay, Right here's where we're going to type in our question. You'll see you get when you click, you get a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. You can bold, italicize, underline. If you forget to use this underscore, there's also this R button here that indicates that you're going to insert a response. You want the students to answer the drop down there. Okay. Um, now, as I start typing, you're going to notice right here where it says correct answer setup, it's going to type down here too. A lot of people think that this is where you're going to do the fill in the blank. This is not. This is a preview of your question, which is going to show you all of your potential drop downs. And that's where you're going to put in your answers to show what is correct and what's incorrect. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to say, what is the capital of Ohio? Okay. We'll just say that's my question here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a fill in the blank. Now, again, I can do this two ways. I can do an underscore um, on the keyboard. Or, if I didn't want to do an underscore, I can click this R button. It does the exact same thing. Now, you notice down here, I see a preview of the question. I see a drop box. If I click on it, I only get a checkbox. It's because I haven't put any answers in yet. Right here, where it says response, response one, there's the number one. We have to click on option, and we have to put in our answer. To add additional answers, we just click option again, and we continue to add in answers. Um, we'll do okay. So there's our answers. So these are our potential answers. So now, if I come down to this correct answer setup, you'll see I see all these options. All I have to do is say that's my correct answer. Okay. If I'm only doing one response, we're good. We can go ahead and hit save, and we're done. There, there's some other stuff you can do here, like alternate responses and things like that. You can do alternate answers as well. So you can create an alternate answer and give them partial points or whatever credit for, for that. Um, or if you want, you can continue. Maybe this is a longer, a longer response. So I'll just click up here and I'll just say space. What is the force on the fence? Okay. Uh, obviously this doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in another, sorry, click the button. Um, I'm going to put in another response here. And again, I can use the underscore or this key. So I'll do underscore this time just to show you. Now you see I get option two. I can do this multiple times, option three, option four. Each one, you have to put in your potential, your, uh, your responses. So this would be um, mayor. Cold. Okay, so you get that, and then when you go down to your answer setup, which I'm going to go ahead and just for cleanliness sake, let's go ahead and backspace a couple times here. You'll see down here I've got my answers. Again, I click on the correct answer. Once I'm done, I go ahead and click save, and my question's ready to go. Hopefully that helps you. Um, that's how that works. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.